Hi everyone! If I look a little flushed, rosier than maybe I do at the end of the video. So I finished filming, like did my outro, walked away, took the dog on a walk, and as I'm like coming back to the house, I'm like, I didn't do an intro, did I? So and I don't know where you live, but right now it is inch of snow here in um, Pittsburgh, inch of snow, pretty cold. It's not fun to walk the dog, but it's Chip's first snow, so that's funny. Um, so if I that's so if I look a little cold, I am. Um, see the title? You clicked on it. This is a what I'm calling like a late Thanksgiving look, <laughs> um, or a one palette tutorial using soft glam and using a color I feel doesn't get a lot of love in soft glam, and it's the dusty rose color, which is the like purpley cool tone shade in the palette so I'm using that and you know just doing my face nothing itch um, nothing crazy nothing huge not doing anything that I'm not prepared to eat off my face so uh, I hope you enjoy this look I have to stop saying it it's so addicting say it once you're gonna get addicted um, I hope you comment, rate, link, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. Keep watching. Do any or all of the above. Uh, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and we're getting into the holiday season. I want to know people's thoughts on, I think for the this December, for all of my videos, I'm going to do like glitter. Well, orig so, so originally I was like, you know what, all of December, I'm doing every look with a red lip. Just every look's having a red lip. And then there's a... Uh, look I want to do with soft glam um specifically that's a very like glittery bold good holiday party um look so I think I'm gonna do like either I might still pair it with red lips so I don't know I think I'm gonna do that for um the Christmas season let me know your thoughts if you think I should or should not I probably will anyway so just let me know if there's anything special you want to see I have way too many conversations here that are so completely one-sided I just hope you're hyped for it. All right. Um, please keep watching. All right. I'm going to be starting with my face first. I'm out of breath. I just ran. Up the stairs. Every winter, I always talk about this product. Um, it's a face oil. This is the Fresh Seaberry Moisturizing Face Oil. And every time winter comes around, I start using this again because my skin does get a little bit drier and I miss like the moisture my skin has, the oil. So I like to bring it back with the face oil, especially when I notice because I have so many matte products um, that it needs some of that oil. So I like, I come back to this every winter. I know I've talked about it before, but we're gonna be going in with first, which I just started doing. Um, but I need to try to find a balance of like using it because I'll start using it and then I use it every day and it does like obviously too much oily on oily skin kind of not kind of it can break you out so I am I'm not I have like a few pimples that I don't know if it's from this um because I've been using it every day and if I need to do it every other day if I need to do it once a week because it does soak into my skin it's a pretty lightweight moisturizer um, I mean face oil for you oily people out there. I love like, I don't know if you can tell now, like the, just the oil of it. It doesn't feel too greasy. It's just great. And I've really been liking it as I go with my foundations, putting this in first, you do need to like wait a few minutes, not like a ton of time, but, um, I wouldn't suggest going in with product right over this. I still use this in the morning when I get ready. So even when I'm going fast or we're shaking and baking, but I mean, I have a pimple right here. So it might be clogging some of mine, some of mine, some of my face, but I just, I need a little bit of the oil still. And this is, this is one of my favorite face oils that I've used. I haven't used it a lot, but this is really good for oily people. So for, I keep saying, I'm not going to say um, and so when I do it a million times, every time I edit this, I'm sorry, I'm going to go in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I have been loving this primer. It's, you know, very expensive primer, but I like it. 
I've just been a, a little primer whore, if you will. So I tend to actually rub my finger around in it, which is probably even more nasty. And I'm gonna go in all over my face with it. Then I'm being extra and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the No Pore Bloom Primer. Mine is so, so empty. I just, I don't even know if it's focusing. Um, this is one of like the best pore filling primers, but I just put it like mainly here, actually. I put a little bit on my forehead, but um, pretty affordable price. It's $18 um, from Sephora. I would suggest it. I've been mixing primers a lot lately. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. It's just what I'm doing. For foundation, I'm just going with this Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish. I've been struggling with my color lately specifically, and I feel like I started using this because it seemed like a good color match. I mean, it's kind of is, kind of isn't. It is what it is. Um, and then I also really liked how it looked with the oil and how it wore throughout the day when I was at work. Uh, so I've just been using it. See, it's a, it's a pretty good color shade. It's in shade 75. I'm gonna go in with my, um, I'm gonna go with the Hootie, Hootie, Hootie Hoo, the Huda Beauty Concealer, the Rechiever Concealer that I just recently, this is in the shade Meringue as well. I recently also got this in my Sephora haul and I'm liking it. It dries down fast though, so, so, so. I am going to spray my face. That's with MAC Fix Plus. Use whatever you want. I have just found that I like having a little spritz of something when I blend out this concealer, you could spritz your beauty sponge. There is eyelash glue on my eye. That's like a lot. That concealer is a lot, but day of Thanksgiving, maybe when you went out last night, maybe you were cooking all night long, you're a little like cover me up. Maybe there's gonna be family photos. I don't know what your shtick is. Maybe you're like, I don't put any makeup on at all. Then good. Do you do you, boo? I mean, sometimes I have, sometimes I haven't. But this is a great, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot, but it's a good concealer. So I'm going to take the RCMA powder just because I feel like I haven't shown it a lot of love. But I was talking in my last video about it. So, all right, because we're looking a little uh, pale. I'm going to go in with um, bronzer. I'm taking the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I don't know why that made me want to feel it fancy. And I'm taking an oldie. <laughs> uh, the Real Techniques blush brush, which is the original love bronzer brush for me. I will say after using the Morphe brush, I really like, I don't know, it's just a little bit smaller. It's a little bit more precise for me. And I find myself like looking at this being like, oh, does it like come across like, oh, I wish I had a little bit of like, not a little bit. I wish I was using that and had made this like a little bit more. I don't know if I feel like it blends it out better or what, but I will say I do prefer how that brush handles bronzer. Cause right now I feel like this seems harsh. Like when I look, right, I'm seeing like a huge like right there it's not in person i'm probably focusing on it 20 times more and i have bright lights in front of me but i know like i'm looking in the back of my camera and i see that next i'm going to do my eyebrows for eyebrows i'm just going to go in with my adh pencil it's just honestly honestly um i've talked about other pencils and like the slate ship i love there are other brow products Things I love, things that I could use, but if you want me to just enjoy my brow, it's going to be the ABH pencil. I haven't tried the Benefit one, and I feel like everyone's using it, and I'm debating it, but then part of me is like, I think they're very close in price, and I know this one, I like this one. Something that I think is worth the splurge, just in all honesty. For eyes, so I'm going to take um, some of that powder and just stamp 
underneath this is to just catch any fallout or so when we brush it away it's very and takes everything it needs to with it for eyes i'm gonna just i'm just i'm taking soft lamb because it reminds me of this type of year i want to do looks with it just insert whatever reason you need to let you know that i'm using that palette we are first going in with this shade Tem Pira, which in life is one of my absolutely favorite shades. It's a beautiful, it's a great lid color for matte looks, for any look. You could wet it, you can leave it dry, you can put it anywhere you want. Brow bone, it's I don't know how to, it's almost like a highlight. It's like putting a highlight on your eyes. It's just got like a very beautiful sheen. I, I absolutely love it. And I'm taking this with an MB23, putting it all over the lid and a little into the crease. So next I'm going to take Dusty Rose here with a same brush. And I'm going to be putting this shade in the outer edge and the crease. So then I'm going to take more of Dusty Rose and I'm going to take black. I'm taking both together. And I'm going to smudge that against the lash line. I didn't wing it out, but do you see how it's a little further out the edge? I'm putting that in there. And then I'm kind of like brushing it up almost like how we would do the outer V just a little bit I'm mean, not a lot of color and then I just took a clean I took a Morphe M433 it doesn't look clean but it is it's just stained and I just kind of tap that out and then the top of the eye is done and we are going to Vominos this under eye powder. So I am going to go in with Tempira, as I go in with shadows then, I'm gonna take a Morphe E18, I'm gonna go in with Tempira, and I'm gonna put that messily underneath. Then I'm gonna take some of the Dusty Rose on the same brush. And then that is it for the eyes. For blush, I'm taking Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Blush, so many words, in Fetish, mainly because I feel like it's going with the vibe we have. Morphe E4. On, I'm actually going to go put mascara on, and then we'll be back to do some highlight and some lips. Oh, speaking of, every time I say do lips, I realize these foundation lips got to go. Which, like, why does it take me that long to realize? Be back in a second. Mascara is on for highlights. I don't know why I'm like thinking about it too much. Uh, for highlight, we're going to go in with a Mary Luminizer. I already opened it up. I love this. For me, this is definitely, or at least like I feel like I choose this more in the wintertime. Just because I am not as tan. And it looks, it looks good. Well, or I prefer, no, you know what? Yeah, I like it. The cap off. So for lips, again, I'm going to be eating my face off the whole day, so we don't want to go too crazy. So I'm going to take an, the NYX lip liner, and this is in Peekaboo Neutral. It's very much my lip color, and I am going to line them and fill them in a little bit. So then I'm just going to grab the butter, the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, and I'm just going to, I just put a little bit on. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on to give my lips a little bit of juice, as well as the blend in since I didn't color in my like full lip, kind of did, kind of didn't, kind of matches. To finish up my face, I am going to take my all nighter setting spray, and then that is the completed little light look for <laughs> Thanksgiving. Just something I wanted to film, and it's just kind of been like that lately. I wanted to film and I wanted to film with soft lamb in that dusty rose shade because I feel like it's like a little bit different in the palette and it doesn't get 
maybe as much love as the other colors do. And I wanted to just try to throw something together, see what it is. Do an easy Thanksgiving look that I will probably end up wearing. Um, some variation of this. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a great holiday weekend. Um, and I hope it's good. That's all. Um, please rate, comment, link, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. Or as always, please just keep watching and I will see you in the next